many materials available uh, online and means uh, there, there is no problem at, at all. Mm. In core mathematics, we can do wonderful job. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's is, let's is start uh, with certain questions. We will discuss together. You need not to hesitate at all. Okay. Uh, I am not testing your knowledge. Okay. Yes, and sir. I am I am no one to test your knowledge. In fact, so need not to worry at all. Mm -hmm. uh, just I try to identify those areas where you can do uh, really well. Right. Okay. So we will discuss some questions. I am giving one question from differentiation. Okay. You okay. just you will just try to uh, understand the requirement of the question, and then you can discuss uh, how will you proceed in that question. Okay. The question is from miscellaneous exercise, chapter five, and question number fourteen will be there. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, since some of the things, some of the topics have been deleted, sometimes number can vary. But in old book, in fact, we we uh, now we have all these things, the question number, answers, and all things have come. I mean, just set into our mind. Yes, sir. Uh, but in new book, certain topics and certain questions are deleted, so it might different. But in miscellaneous exercise, it will be question number fourteen. Question is if x root 1 plus y plus y root 1 plus x equals to 0, then prove that, then prove that, uh, should I uh, <clears throat> switch off my uh, camera because it distracts me, your, your uh, camera will be, yeah, your camera will be on, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. No worries. Uh, just yes then prove that dy over dx equals to minus 1 over 1 plus x whole square okay just try to understand the requirement of the question and then tell me the first step how will you proceed and do not worry that whether you are making some error or not, you are doing correctly or not. Don't worry about that. I'm not okay. testing your knowledge. I'm just trying to identify how you proceed in the question and what is the uh, basic error that you are making um, you know, while doing the solution. So my purpose is that. And my purpose is not to test your knowledge. No, yes, sir. All right. <laughs> How will you, what will be the first step that you will be taking? Uh, we have, integral, sir. we have x root 1 plus y plus y root 1 plus x equals to 0. Yes, sir. So what will you find dy by dx? How will you find dy by dx? Uh, yeah, you can do the integral of uh, each x root under root uh, 1 plus y and uh, y under root 1 plus x. If you directly, if you directly uh, find, uh, it means uh, if you directly differentiate it, you mm -hmm. will never get the result. Why? Why yeah. I'm telling you that? Because yeah. see, we have to observe that uh, when we have to prove something, that means we have to, we have to means find the answer as yeah. per given. Yes. Okay? <clears throat> so, if we observe carefully, we see that dy by dx is what? Function of x. There is no y here. No yes, y. Yes. What does it mean? It means we have to separate y okay, yes. from x. Can we separate y from x from here? Mm, um, I don't know, sir. David, there are two ways of teaching. One way is I just provide you the solution. Another way is 
I just uh, provide you to the thinking process, means how will you proceed in the question? Because ultimately, you have to do the question yourself. Yes, sir. I want to be in place of you at the time of exam, sir. Yes. So better, I think, the better approach is I develop, uh, you know, I make you enable to under, uh, develop your understanding process so that you can yourself do the questions. Yes. Get me? So yes, first thing is, if we have to find dy by dx in terms of x, we have to separate y from x. Yes. Can you think how can we separate? Uh, if you... Mm. So can you, is it, is it, are we allowed to bring it uh, to the other side, sir? Exactly, exactly. You will tell me everything, in fact. I, I will just hint you. And okay. you will be able to solve the question. Understood, sir. So we will send the, send one term to the other side. So Yes, sir. It will become minus y, y on u. Right? And, yeah. uh, now, what will be the next step? What will you do? Yeah, then we'll do uh, differentiate both of them, sir. Are we no, no, no right? We, no. we still have to separate y from x, and uh, y cannot be separated until and unless it is under root. Under root. Oh, okay. can we divide both of them by uh, squaring? Squaring. Squaring, both ah, squaring, sir. Squaring. Not yes. Squaring. Yes, you will. You will tell me every step yourself. I'll. I'll make you <laughs> enable you. I'll. I'll enable you to. Solve question yourself. Don't worry. So this will be x square 1 plus y. Yes, sir. And then and y square 1 plus x. Yes, sir. Now what should be the next step? If we want to separate y from x, what should be the next step? Can we move 1 plus x to uh, back to Exactly. X? Exactly. That we are going to do. Yes, sir. Mm. What we will do, first we will open the bracket. Ah, open the bracket. So uh, why do we have to open the bracket first, sir? See, where is the bracket? Uh, from, yeah, bracket is from this step, no? Yes, sir. So if we if we want to simplify it, first we have to open the bracket. Then we can simplify. Uh, yes, right? sir. Sir. And bring all the terms in the left-hand side. So this will be x square minus y square plus x square y minus x y square equals to zero. And then uh, x square minus y square. Uh... We just route the uh, terms in the right hand side. Back to the left. We transpose to the left hand side, right? Yes. We tra transpose both the terms to the left hand side. So this is x square minus y square plus x square y minus x y square equals to zero, right? Yes, sir. Now, if we want to separate x and y, first thing that we can do, that x square minus y square can be written as x plus y into x minus y, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, that is. Yes. So we write x square minus y square as x plus y into x minus y equals yes. to Equals to or not equals to in plus plus yes plus x uh, y square minus. and we have x y common yes with these two terms x y common okay. but then yeah x square and y square so that that means uh, it'll be in into plus y minus y yeah <coughs> equals to zero now you can easily identify that x minus y is common in both the terms yes, sir. isn't it yes sir so take x minus y common. So from first term we have x plus y and from the second term we have xy. Yes. Well, now uh, either either x minus y equals to 0 or x plus y plus xy equals to 0. zero. Did you understand the last step? David? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I have. When, when we have a, b equals to 0, that means either a equals to 0 or b equals to 0. Yes. Okay? Or both the zeros, in fact. So, can 
that means x equals to y. y. Is it possible x equals to y? Yes, sir, it is. No, no, it's not no, possible. Why? No, why it's no. not possible? Because if you place uh, x in place of y, if you put x in place of y, then you cannot find dy over dx. Okay. If there is no y in the expression. Oh, then how can you, you find you, dy you over can't dx? Find dy. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, got it. So x equals to y is not possible. Hmm. That means this term is definitely going to be zero. Okay. So y plus xy equals to negative x. Yes, sir. Can we take y common between these two uh, terms? Yes, it'll be, uh, then it'll be y into 1 plus x. Yes, y into 1 plus x equals to negative x. Then we now can... y equals to negative x over 1 plus x. Now, y is separated from x completely. Yes, sir. Now, ah. we can differentiate it. So, differentiating with respect to x. x. So, dy, by dy over dx equals to... Do you know the quotient rule? Uh, uh, yes, I remember it. So, one second. Uh, you... U differentiation uh, V minus B differentiation U. No, no, no. Uh, I give you the tips. How I remember? I yes. remember with I take V square first in the denominator. Okay. Okay. And then we take I take V over here from here. Okay. And we I differentiate U means U dash. U dash. Minus yes. U V dash. Okay. okay. So we have one plus x whole square. Yes. Okay. Take minus sign outside. Oh, so then one plus x. And derivative of x is one, isn't it? Yes, sir. Minus and one plus uh, x into derivative of one plus x is one. So then we get we have minus one plus x minus x upon one plus x whole square. So x got cancelled. Yes, so one by one we get minus one by one plus x square. And that we had to prove. See. Oh got it, sir. This question is important, so you have to do once again at home. Right? Yes, got it. I'll take questions from different topics and I'll make you understand how we proceed in the question rather than just providing you the solution. Yes. Okay? Got it, sir. But you need to do this question once again at home. This is the most important question for this year. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, <clears throat> I'm giving another question. From the same topic, then we will move to the move to uh, you know either probability or differential equation. <coughs> if x equals to square root of a to the power cos inverse t and y equals to square root of a to the power sine inverse t. Find dy by dx. Or prove that you actually in question, we have to prove that. Prove that dy by dx equals to negative y over x. This question is again from your book, NCRT book. Okay. Uh, this will be in exercise 5.6, question number, last question. Yeah. Okay. It might be 11 or 9. In the uh, previous book, old book, it will be 11. In the new book, I am not sure whether it is 9 or 11. All right, sir. 
So x. You tell me how will you proceed in this question. I'll definitely help you out. Okay. Don't worry about that. But first think of it. How will you proceed in the question? We have x equals to a, a to the power. A to the power cos inverse t. And y equal to a to the power cos inverse sine inverse t. Um, yes. X equals to a to the power cos inverse t. How will you proceed in the first question? We have to bring out uh, uh, cos, right, sir, from the power. How will you bring that out? Um, divided by, you know, uh, do a square of it first and then we can divide it by root? No. You cannot divide until and unless uh, square root is there. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I'm giving 30 seconds and just coming back from the uh, bathroom. Okay, sir. Think of it and then tell me. I'm just coming 30 seconds. Yes, I got it. Hey. Yes, David. Yes, sir. Can we divide yeah. X and Y, sir? Like directly? Uh, multiplying X and Y. Wonderful. We can multiply X and Y together. Yes. A to the power sine inverse T. And I call this method magical method. You will see if the magic happens here. Okay, sir. See, if you multiply X and Y, then we have root over a to the power cos inverse t times root over a to the power sine inverse t. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So we have root over a to the power cos inverse t plus sine inverse t. Yes, sir. There is an identity. Do you remember that? Cos inverse. Sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is something which is one. it is pi over 2. Pi over 2. Yes. I don't remember this, sir. This is an identity in inverse trigonometric function, the second chapter. Okay. Okay? Yes, so, so, cos inverse t plus sin inverse t will be what? Pi over 2. Pi over 2. Yes. So, xy equals okay. to okay. square root of a to the power pi over 2. Yes, sir. Isn't it a constant, David? What is it a cos? Cos inverse t plus sin inverse t. It is of the form, same form. Cos inverse t plus sin inverse t is equal to is pi, pi over 2. Mm -hmm. I am asking you, root over a to the power pi by 2. Isn't it a constant? There is no variable at all. Yes, Isn't sir. Do we have any variable? No. No, sir. There's no variable to do. And what is the what is the differentiation of a constant? Um, um minus sign. No, no, no. no. Uh, derivative of a constant, any constant. Suppose derivative of twelve. What is derivative of twelve? Zero. Zero. This is also a constant. Also, yes. So this is also zero. Yeah, it's also zero. So, x, y equal to 0 will get, sir. 
no x y equals to zero, we have to differentiate it, and then it will become zero. Oh, okay. okay. So x y equals to we we have x y equals to the square root of a to the power pi over two, differentiating with respect to x. x. So again, we have to apply product rule. So, what is it? What is product rule? That would be uh, uv. So u uh, u v dash uh, minus plus uh, plus plus v u dash v u dash divided by v square. No 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 no. No no. no, no. That is the uh, that one. Question. See, <laughs> one thing I am giving you session from here, right from today itself. Try to collect all the formula at one place. And every morning, whenever you get up, go through the whole formula once. This uh, this routine should be continued for uh, at least one and a half month. Okay. And then then you have exam actually. <laughs> so mm -hmm. one month. Okay. So this this routine should be continued for one month, and you will see that you, you all the formula you have already I means got it very clearly. Yeah. Okay. So we have x into y dash, y dash is dy over dx plus y into x dash. Derivative of x is what? Um, one? One. One, one, one. Yeah, one. And derivative of this constant is zero. So we have dy by dx, x dy by dx plus equals y. to negative y. Then we can bring x to that side. Yes. So minus so y. dy by dx equals to negative y over x. Oh. And hence proved. Okay. Yes, sir. Was it difficult? No, sir. In a school or uh, any institute that you uh, where you have studied, they have made you learn that we will take log from both sides. Uh. They they had given different method. Yes. Okay. Sir. So, uh, on the basis of my experiences in certain type of questions like Bayes theorem in probability, I have developed very unique approach uh, so that you can easily understand the steps and you can do it. So, I call it magical method because uh, in your school or coaching, wherever you have been taught, you have learned two different methods. Either directly you uh, uh, found the derivative of it, and that is a to the power cos inversity. They told you that a to the power x is a to the power x log a that way. And another approach is taking log on both sides. <laughs> but this method is quite unique. And above all, above all, you derive this method yourself. You yourself told me that sir, you will we will multiply together. Yes, sir. Hearing me. The, just one thing that you have to remember this identity. Yes, I didn't know that one. And you have to apply it. Hear me. Yes, sir. Okay. Now coming to one integration question. Okay, today today is your first class with me. Yes. Sir. So we will do certain questions from different topics. I just try to understand, I just try to make you understand how we'll be proceeding, okay? This question is from exercise 7.2, question number 33 or 34, not sure. One upon one minus cot x. One upon one minus dx. You tell me how you proceed in this question. So one minus cortex. There's a, uh, a formula. There's a formula for that, right, sir? Uh, one minus cortex doesn't have any formula, a specific no. identity. Okay. Cortex can be converted into cos x over sin x. So it'll be one by cos x minus sin x, and then yes. First thing we will do one over one minus cos x over sin x dx, and take the LCM. So this will be one over sine x minus cos x over sine x. 
Yes, sir. Can we can we send this sine x in the numerator? Yes, sir. Then become uh, minus, na, sir. Yes, sine x minus cos x. Sine x minus cos x. Minus cos x divided by sine x. So can we send this sine x to the numerator because it will be reciprocal? Yes, sir. Even sir, you can. So this will be sine x over sine x minus cos x. Minus cos x. Now tell me the next step. What do you want? You can separate them both, right? So you can get sine x by sine x minus one by cos x. No, no, no. X. We we cannot separate it. See, mm -hmm. a over a minus b cannot be separated. Oh yes, 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 sir. But a mm -hmm. minus b over a can be separated. Yes, yes. See, mm -hmm. there were there were two ways to make you understand. One way is I just told you that mm -hmm. it cannot be separated. That's it. Another way I just gave an example with very simple algebraic or uh, you know arithmetic example so mm -hmm. that you can understand it. So that is the way in fact that is the difference of making understand one thing with different approach. Okay yes. So sign How will you do? What will be the thinking process? Sine minus cos? No. no. This uh, sine? No, no. Uh. I give you, I just give you an idea. Yes, sir. See, whenever we have sin x minus cos x or sin x plus cos x in the denominator, we try to bring, if we have sin x minus cos x, we try to bring sin x plus cos x in the numerator. If okay. we have sin x plus cos x in the denominator, we try to bring sin x minus cos x in the numerator. Getting me? Yes, sir. So then we'll multiply. But we have just sin x. Holy so how do you do that? So, can we do one thing? Sin x plus cos x plus sin x minus cos x. But while doing this, we can see that we have two sin x. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So, if we take one over two outside, now observe the step that we have done. Observe the step carefully and then tell me what we have done and are we able to do this? Is it a valid step or not? What we have done? We have added cos x and we have subtracted cos x. So cos x got cancelled, isn't it? Yes, it. Sir. yes, sir. It is get cancelled. But sin x plus sin x is what? Two sin x. But then we put uh, one by two outside, sir. So then yes, yes. Now, can we separate? We can separate. Yes, yes sir. We have now a plus b over a minus a. a plus b, b over b. 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 Yeah. So then you can go sin one by two. Mm -hmm. Sin x plus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x. Exactly. Divide by sin x minus cos x dx and plus sin integral sin x minus cos x divided by sin x minus cos x. And they will be cancelled out. Cancel what do you say? Yes, sir. And then now, yes, with, uh, if, you, if you take sin x minus cos x as t, if you substitute t, yes, you will get the numerator. That was the purpose. One okay. thing, one tips I, I am giving, giving over here that if you have sin x minus cos x in the denominator, yes, sir. then bring sin x plus cos x in the numerator. numerator. If we have sin x plus cos x in the denominator, then bring sin x minus cos x in the numerator. Why is that? Because if you take sin x minus cos x, as t, then derivative of that will be sin x plus cos x. Yes. Yes. 
and if you take if you have sin x plus cos x in the denominator and you take sin x minus cos x in the numerator then it will be vice versa sin x plus cos x equals to t and uh, find the derivative you will get the numerator and that way you can find the integration very easily getting me so whenever you get such uh you know such expression such trigonometric function in the denominator you just try to bring sin x plus cos x or alternatively means if you have sin x plus cos x in the denominator then try to bring sin x minus cos x the purpose is you will get the derivative in the numerator right. so we have actually now 1 by 2 integral uh... Yeah, Sorry. here also we have one over two, isn't oh, it? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. So one over two sine x plus cos x plus cos x divided by t divided by sine x minus cos x dx and plus one by two plus one dx. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we have uh, for here we can take put sine x minus cos x as t. Yeah, sine x minus cos x equals to t. Differentiate with yes. respect to x. So derivative of sine x is what? Uh, minus cos x. No, cos x, derivative. Derivative oh, is cos x. Integration is, uh, is minus cos x. Yes, sir. Derivative is uh, cos x. Yeah. And what about derivative of cos x? Uh, minus sin x. Minus sin x. But we have already minus sin over here. Well, so less. minus minus? Plus. Plus sin x. Equals to dt over dx. Yes. dt over dx. dt over dx. So bring dx to this side. Cos x plus sin x into dx. dx equals to dt as i told you if you take sin if you have sin x minus cos x in the uh, denominator bring yes. cos x plus sin x sin x plus cos x you can see that we have sin x plus cos x dx yes, sir, can yes, we sir. substitute dt in place of that yes sir we can so we can write half dt over t yes. because sin x minus cos x is t so then dt by t uh... 1 over t log t log t yes sir yes and what what about the, uh, the uh, integral of dx that I is x one x yes so half log t plus x plus c so that becomes half log t log t t is what sin x minus cos x and here it was half x in fact half was there oh yes sir half sin x minus cos x and plus half x plus c this will be the answer was it difficult Yes, it was. I only found this uh, before part, but difficult, sir. Yeah. Now, see, once you understand the thinking process, you yes, will be sir. able to do yourself. Right. Yes. And again, you can mark this question as important because, however, this question has already been asked in uh, 2022, I think, board. Okay, sir. So, <clears throat> maybe it would not ask or it might be asked. <clears throat> but this is an important question. Got it, sir. 33 and 34 both. In 34, you, you have 1 over 1 plus 10x. 1 over 1 plus 10x. Yes. That will be with the same approach, in fact. Same approach. Okay, sir. Which chapter you found the most easier one, David? Uh, 
differentiation so mostly differentiation uh, and then also uh, relational functions and matrices also to be easy for me okay relation and function let's do one question from relation function yes, this question might be in your book exercise 1.1 question number 8 okay let us define a relation r okay and uh, from a to b mapping from a to b a b such that a minus b is an even number yes sir language initial language might be different but question overall question will be the same a minus b is an even number mm -hmm. prove that where a b belongs to set a and set a has already been defined 1 2 3 4 5 6, this way okay okay prove that it is an equivalence relation friends a b equivalence relation also that each element of 1 3 5 related to each other this is the question how will you do this what is an equivalence relation david you have to check if it's uh, reflexive and uh... symmetric reflexive symmetric yes what else um um wait one minute sir uh transitive transitive sir yes if a relation is reflexive symmetric and transitive then such type of relation is said to be an equivalence relation yes sir so how can you say that certain relation is an is a reflexive relation how will uh, you say that i remember that formula sir uh, you have to check uh, am i no the relation is the same then you have to like no I will check if it's even, right, sir? <laughs> no. See, in reflexive relation, we take the same element. Same element. Okay. Like so, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. These are. I mean, if we have same uh, elements, and they they are under relation, certain relationship, then we say it is a reflexive relation. Okay, I make you understand. You have to work really hard, and from the beginning, yes. right? Yes. So, uh, I think I have to manage time to give you more classes because you have to start from the beginning in almost all topic. No worries, I'll I'll work with you. <laughs> But yes, uh, you told me that this chapter is. you found easier one yes it is an easy topic but at the same time it is confusing as well because sometimes uh, you you can apply the you know um what do you say the set of instructions algorithm eh? you apply the algorithm that al uh, uh, algorithm works there but the same algorithm 
doesn't work with another question that happens okay so uh, let's move doing this question see for reflexive for reflexive let a a both belongs to set a okay yes, then we have a minus a equal to zero yes, which is even yes zero is taken as even okay that means it is an it is a reflexive relation it is a irreflexible relation. Come to symmetric relation. Let AB belongs to R. And both AB are the element of set A. Okay. AB belongs to R means it's been given that A minus B is even. Do you understand, David? No. See, here we had we had not taken that A A belongs to R. Rather, we had we had just taken A. Okay. Means these are the two. These are the elements of set A. Okay. Okay. We can take example as well. This question can be done with with taking uh, the numeral values from set A. One one two two three three, but every time you will not be me able to use numerical values because if it is not given in the question, then you will not be able to use that. That's yes. why I'm giving you the general approach for all the questions you can do. Right. So if A B belongs to R, that means A minus B is even, and we can write minus b minus a if we take minus common outside yes is even now what is mod of minus one it is one isn't it yes, if we take any negative or positive number it is always positive absolute value is always positive so this can be written as b minus a is even yes sir so we can say b a belongs to r previously we had a minus b is even so a b belongs to r now we have proved that b minus a is even so we have b a belongs to r okay so we, we say that it is symmetric so it is symmetric got it sir <coughs> Transitive. Let AB belongs to R. Okay. And BC belong to R. We take two set of two pair of elements okay. for transitive. It's been given. It's the definition of transitivity that if we have AB belongs to R, BC belongs to R, we have to show that we have to show that AC belong to R. We have to show that AC belong to R. What does it mean? It means we have to show that A minus C is even. Okay? Yes, sir. So, given AB belongs to R, and BC belongs to R. Yes. If AB belongs to R, what does it mean? It means minus B absolute B. value of A minus B is even. Okay? Yes, sir. So we can write absolute value of A minus B is 2M, where M is any integer. M is any integer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, so sir. any even number is multiple of 2. That's why we have taken. A minus B as even. 
Okay, now let us take this first equation. Okay. Now we have BC belong to R. That means absolute value of B minus C is even. Yeah. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. So absolute value of B minus C can be written as in terms of two multiple of two B minus C okay. is two N. N is again an integer. This is as two. second equation. Adding one and two. Then we get a modulus A minus B equal to two N. Yes. One and two. Then we have a minus b plus b minus c equals to, equals to 2m plus n. Is it? Yes, sir. And by the property of modulus, we can write this way as well. Yes. This is the property of modulus. <coughs> and b will be cancelled out. So we have modulus of a minus c equals to 2m plus n. Means a minus c is even yes and that we had to prove so ac belong to r, r. since um, just a minute since r is a reflexive some symmetric and then and is transitive it is yeah. uh, equivalence relation and mm -hmm. transitive it therefore an, it is an equivalence relation it is an equivalence, equivalence relation there is another part of this question that is Also, so that each element of 1, 3, 5 is related to each other. Okay. okay. So we have 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5, yes, and sir. relation with 1, 3, 5. Yes. We see that 1, 1. We take the cross product, in fact. We take the Cartesian product, not cross product. Oh. We call it Cartesian product. Um, okay. 1, 1, 1, 3, okay. 1, 5, 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 5, 3 5, 5, and one. 5, 1, three, five. 5, 3, 5, 5. Yes, sir. This is the relation. Can you can you see that one minus one zero one three okay, whatever the bell whatever the order pair we take it is always even number yes sir we see that yes or even Each order pair, each order pair. That we have to do. Okay. There is some music band is going nearby, so you might be hearing some noise. Yes. Or it's just it some... always happens in our country, so not yes. to be worried about that. Okay, so now coming to your homework, I hope you enjoyed the session. Yes, okay. sir. I, did. I have another class right now, Got so it, I'll have to um, leave this session here itself and hopefully you have enjoyed the session you have definitely found something different i believe that and 
do well and yes. be positive mathematics yes. is not difficult it yes. is just that you have to take it differently it means that the thinking process and uh, arithmetical approach that is that, that is why mathematics is so important worldwide mm -hmm. i have been i i am teaching almost uh, i am teaching the students of almost 10 countries usa uk australia south africa these are the countries from where uh, many students are uh, which me so i see that mathematics is important uh, almost in all countries yes, okay so homework is whichever topic you find easy for you you can do certain questions right do 10 to 20 questions uh, from any topic okay sir that you find easy okay hmm. and what will be the mode of doing uh, the sessions session every session will start with doubts okay okay whatever doubts you have i'll take your doubts okay. then recapitulation recap means we can I mean just discuss some of the things that we have already studied in the earlier session okay yes. then new topic okay after okay. completion of topic chapter test will be there okay. considering you have just one month i believe one and a half month you yes, have with you first of so, all yeah yeah so you have to really work hard and you i think you have to take the regular classes for yes. for the same okay i'll help you out in that and definitely you will come over from the situation so in uh, positive note i believe that every every student is capable of doing mathematics and you will drop don't worry okay take care bye thank you sir bye sir you can leave this session yes sir